I'm, I'm looking stuff up now, because I'm getting, like, really struggling here. Uh, so I need it to... I need to bathe the pearl in this. Feels like blood, right? So I, I did that just to make it, like, blood-like. And I think I remember... The, um... Oh. Hi, hands. I think I remember the, um book saying something about it being like the goddess's blood and I guess that those weird statue stuff we saw statue stuff the things in the wall in the workshop might be related to um oh she's here again um might have made mention of that the baby she ends in a child-shaped form. Now all we need is for it to begin weeping. When, where did that come from? Give it a bonnet. Give it hair. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick up the hair. I don't know. Damn it, every... Wrong buttons every time. Is it not even letting me... Because I always pick interact, so I can't even use it. So it's not my fault. The game's just mean. Make it cry. Pour, like, oil on it? I don't know. Assassinate. Kill. Sure is red. That's why I need the guides. That doesn't help. Look at the way the pearl looks covered in red. covered um yeah let's just keep using guides i'm gonna save though like i i skimmed ahead and it just looks like nonsense maybe it's just stuff i didn't catch when trying to read the book but it's so hard to catch everything in that especially when you've read the book like what feels like days ago so, like, I had to look to see what to do after leaving, and if I collected everything, and I'm like, I, I guess the pearl kind of makes sense. What does it want me to do with this sapling, though? Pick up leaf. I have to burn the ritual blade and then use it on the deformed sapling? How do I know that? Maybe it's my fault because the guy doesn't tell me how I know that. What does it say? There's a leaf. Oh, like right, right here. Also, you know, having to grab in precise spots. Yeah, I know. You're a crying baby. Sad baby. Sucks to be you. What are these leaves for? Tremble to the touch. Okay, well, we're gonna... Like, I don't know... How I was supposed to know how to deal with this sapling. I don't even remember reading anything about the sapling besides the thing. Yeah. Why'd I do that? Now all we need is for it to begin. That's not making it weep. Why did I do that, guides? Tell me. I don't... It is crying, though. Well, now I have to do stuff with the basin. So, I'm... Again, guy... There's a lot of stuff I need to put in this basin. Yo, this music's sick, though. The leaves are part of it. Let me... Look at the book real quick. Which one is it? It's the pagan religion? I want to look at this book and see if I can figure out what all of these objects mean. Because I was kind of right with some of it. Child's hair is one of them. It says, leaves child's hair, oil, light it, and then I can look at the reflection. And then it tells me I can combine it with a bunch of stuff. So, uh, to do, do, do. Same time implores the goddess for the forgiveness of the deceased sins. 
Far as well, kind of the sprinkling on the head of ash obtained by burning together the signs of the lost one and of the transformation desire. Do I want to be tree? We have a forest spoken of the sign of transformation according to the goddess. We will require the fuel already used for the rituals. I guess oil was used as fuel. Heart body of the deceased for the purpose. The chalice for the burning must be I guess burning is obvious. I don't I don't get leaves. I must just be stupid. This was like the worst game for me to choose, and I'm so sorry that this has just evolved into me reading things. Well, I mean, it already was me reading things, but me reading from the game and then just reading whatever they say. Oil it up. I, I must have never even tried to do the oil. I wonder if I could just have kept going with the hair it up and then toke it up. gonna be spooky spooky music ah! whoa it's that guy we saw him before he was with the twins all right well that was less spooky than I thought it's covered in filth got some extra cinder from that uh, what is it considered? It's considered cinder. They remind me of the ones used in blood rituals of y your. Okay, well. So I saw that it mentioned that I need to... My reflection, this figure looks so familiar. It's you! It's a reflection! <laughs> oh, nope. I wasn't done with that. Uh, we'll see what we need to combine it with when we... I mean, Shadow, is this dark figure my true reflection? Is that figure me? The dark me. It's me! I'm preventing myself from leaving! Why did I come here? When I'm trying- what am I trying to remember? Uh, Something. I have to combine it with something else. I forgot I had been married? How could I? How could you indeed? Well, you know. I think this one needed to be with something else as well. I did statue, wedding ring, woods, paintings, copper. I committed murder and removed the memory of it? No, that's impossible. It's untrue. How could I forget? And most importantly, who did I kill? Um, my bro. We're kind of slow. I removed it. I wanted to... I, I guess this is one I can't do anything with. Because I tried to go to Convine. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, wedding ring? That monstrous wooden mannequin was wearing a wedding ring with my name carved in it. Does that disturbing puppet represent my wife? Wow! He's a teacher, right? Like, he's... He's a bit slow on the uptake. Alright, so that's like the end of that one. Doesn't clearly indicate... I guess that was actually the end of all that. I think I combined everything that I had right now. Uh, Let's save... <laughs> Scary events happening. Can't save. I think I need to go... To the living quarters and now. Like I said, I'm kind of just ready for guides. Yeah, go to living quarters. I Was there something I picked up that mentioned rings? Every, every time the way the lighting works in here freaks me out. I can save now. Yeah, there was an event that refused to let me save. I'm keeping... I don't think I need to actually keep that one. 
I need to do stuff with the fire, and it seems like I need to make a ring based on the tablets I picked up. But I frankly do not remember, like... Also, I don't even know why I broke that baby skull. What was the meaning behind that? Showed my reflection, but I couldn't be me. What could it mean? This place is torturing me by raising more and more questions. I must endure. I still feel like I got the gist of the story. I guess I don't know what the twins are about, but considering there are uh, bloody cradles in the other room, might just be related to that. So like documents, anything that's ring related besides general marriage? Probably. It just seems like it's so much stuff to have to read. Stuff that I've already read. You were there before. So, let me look at this now. So, I need to... Mm. Go back to the dining room and go to fire. Use the ring on plain circle tablet. Use tablet and the ring on fire. Try to pick up tablet and the fire. You will gain a ch chimney on tablet. So it says what the ring should look like. So I feel like maybe a sign would show up somewhere. But then that's just, you know, meandering around until you find something. I think this is the one I need to do. No... I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. Did I... Nothing's happening. Oh. I need to actually... Do the puzzle piece. So I need to take the ring that I have... To place it there so I can mold it. The ring is the melting. Fuse gold is adaption and incision on the... Alright. I used to spend hours in front of the chimneys. I want to pick it up because of achievement. It's scorching hot! I need a tool to move it away from the fire! It's funny. I think it's funny. Chimney. And then probably just need to use the water to cool the... Where is it? Where's the one that I grabbed? Is it this one? Did I... What did I do wrong? Oh, game. I have to use a canteen on the tablet. I wish it had, like, an indicator that... The ring was on there. Because it's a little unclear. Also... Okay, no. Pouring water on it now makes no sense. I should take it out of the... Did I not? What? Oh! I'm so confused. It's still very hot. I need to cool it down. With how long I was sitting there. What? Like, why? Yeah? Give me the tablet. Very cool. So that's why, because I was looking at the wrong one. Makes me feel dumb. Let's get that guide up again. Uh, and now I have to leave and go through the attic door. And then I need to go do the weird stuff with the... Okay, I have the stuff that I need for... I, what even was this? I have the stuff I need for the, um... I thought I saw something over there. I have the stuff I need for the uh, weird statues coming out of the wall in the workshop. So we'll go do that part. I'm getting, like, partial... Partially impatient because I don't do good with horror. Impatient just because I'm not doing good with these puzzles. Like, I don't know if 
I I would I kind of like had this guy just because it was like footnotes and seemed like it would be easier. I need to see if there's like a full guide that tells me all of the secrets, why something works. To... What am I looking at? I'm like in such a weird position that I didn't know where I was in the room. Like I need to. I need to look for a guide that like explicitly says this is where you get this information because I'm getting annoyed and lost and just kind of done with the game. I'm sorry, this is a bit of a wash as far as a playthrough goes. Maybe I'll watch someone else's playthrough to see if anyone could enjoy this. Uh, this one. I didn't even try to put on the other mask. Alright, what let me see what it says here. A lady's chest is in a dark silence. If you find my heart sealed in wood and bring it to life, I bathe it in red woman in the hour that you pass. So I get what that's saying. That is Encased in wood was the Venus doll and then the Pearl, but that I don't know. That, like, I, again, I don't know if what parts of the puzzle are just me being dumb or which ones I'm just being annoyed at. So how do you get the right seal, though? It has to have been in a document somewhere. This one was about this. Pretty sure this is the right seal. I think also when it gives me that white, that means it's happy. She has a swirly hand, uh, head, actually. So, like, that would have made me assume that the swirly bit would be the right seal, even though that wouldn't really make a ring. Um... And then the blood ash. Wherever it may be. Do I, like, even still need the pestle and the mortar, like, really, the iron pipe. I guess the other sender is as to be, like, fake. Whoa! <laughs> My bro's like, let me in. I don't know what the deal with that noise was. Oh, there was a weird face on it. I think that was all of all that bit. Oh, this is a cool temple. So this is the one that's under ground. God, the frame rate's getting a little spicy here. Book, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Get it? Because it... we're in the Hidden Temple, Legends. We can still have fun, even though I'm getting peeved. Oh, she's here again. Always here. To read the, the joke I made. Elders say that the stranger had gone to the river seeking inspiration for the statue that he had been entrusted to do by the lords of the valley as gift for the uh, church of penitent Mary Magdalene. The fishwives saw fishwives perched upon a boulder beside them, drawing and sketching feverishly. He went on until he was tired and then walked towards the woods. Is there a reason there's a big space there? He walked for a long time whilst the fear grew inside him of not being able to capture the subject and to be defeated. Uh, for a second, I thought maybe that picture was one of the etchings. Defeated by the white marble slab challenging him in his workshop. As he was thus consumed, he caught with the corner of his eye a flash of light. He turned and saw a young maiden running away amidst the trees. She was so graceful and nimble that he could not reach her, but he followed her until he lost her in the vicinities of the sawmill. 
There he told the woodcutters of his fleeting meeting, but they were unable to tell him who the young maiden he described was. They were struck, however, by his convulsive excitement. <laughs> That's what he's doing? He's convulsing because he's so damn excited? And one of them insisted on taking him home, telling the others, I have... I have a niggling he has just found the witch Anna. Afterwards, the woodcutter recounted that as soon as the stranger saw the slab of marble awaiting him in his workshop, he threw himself upon it and shouted, There you are! You are imprisoned here! And he immediately began to work on it. The woodcutter left and returned to his abode. He did not say anything to his wife, but the following morning he met the doctor and advised him to visit the stranger, who he felt had been the victim of sunstroke whilst in the woods. He did not tell him about witches. When the good doctor arrived to the sculptor's house, he found the door open and the young man working on an already well-hewn statue. The young man was covered in perspiration and had a fanatical... Blah, 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 fanatical... Oh my god. Fanatical! There we go. Third time's a charm. Gaze. The doctor greeted him, but he did not reply. He therefore asked him about the statue he was working on, and he replied that he needs to finish it to be able to see her again. The doctor did not understand, but he advised him to eat the rest, and the sculptor told him he would after he had finished. The words of the young man struck the good doctor who returned to visit him in the same evening. He found him still at work. He managed to make him drink, but only by forcing a flask between his teeth as he worked. The next day, the doctor returned accompanied by two big men who dragged the sculptor away from the statue and forced him to eat and drink. The third day, the doors and windows were barred. The sound of the chisel filled the silence of the night. On into the fourth day, the doctor asked the priest and the local lord to intervene, but nothing could succeed in opening the doors of that house. Then the sound of the chisel stopped, but not the work. Put in his ear next to the wooden door, the doctor could hear the stranger talk in his language as he smoothened the marble. His tone of voice was gentle and it sounded as if he were talking to a beloved one. The doctor passed every night to check and left flasks of water near the door. When he saw that for the second time they had been left untouched, he called the pair of woodcutters, and with them he asked open the door. He asked the door nicely. Unfortunately, when they entered, they found the young man dead of starvation at the statue's feet. The statue depicted a woman in prayer, covered in only by the linen cloth bound under her bosom with a rope. She was beautiful, and the nobleman who had commissioned it was enchanted. But because of the tragedy accompanying its origin, he never placed it in the main church. So this is how the statue was made. I mean, like, so the goddess Anna. Oh, we got sculptor's tale. I've just discovered the tale of the young sculptor. They say he met a lass in the woods and was spellbound by her. He then tried to recreate her likeness with the statue and worked himself to death, accomplishing his artwork. I'm convinced that girl was Anna herself. I am too, my bro. Let us save, because I don't even remember. I know I'm kind of saving often, but I'm kind of at, like, just want to make sure everything's, like, smooth, you know? Uh, it really doesn't matter if I keep these saves, I think. I saw that there's, like, the speed run is 30 minutes, so, like, obviously if you know everything, it shouldn't be too bad. It's taking a bit. Um, I actually forgot to try to combine this. Anna! On that day in those woods, I met Anna. Why did I forget everything? Because it's bad. Don't do it. Oh, I can't combine that anymore. Uh, the th I don't think I can do this, actually. Looks like an offering bowl. There are maple leaves inside. So I can put this in. But I think... Man, man, like the Sabo maker. That tree eyeball's weird. It's supposed to be maple leaves I can grab. And that's if I offered too late. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to grab some. Well, there's a 
no over here priest's letter it's like a switch oh the eye was like following me what a crazy eyeball uh is the letter unique like the other letter was no it looks like it's considered a document as well The Reverend Excellence, I seize the opportunity once again to offer you my gratitude and joy for the assignment which, with immense benevolence, you have assigned to me, that of bringing the good news to these harsh and beautiful mountains. Coming, unfortunately, to... What is that? Less joyous matters, the intent of my letter is to inform you of strange happenings which have occurred within the walls of the church in my charge. I'll connect it to the... Pri presence within one of the lateral altars of an excellently made marble statue depicting saint mary magdalene in prayer but it wasn't her was it it was anna uh first of all as soon as i settled in this parish i was informed of the arduous execution of the work which ended with its sculptor's death i later noticed the strange devotion to the saint by some Pariah youths. They were just jerking it to that statue right in front of it. I know that's crude, but I mean, that's basically what the story is, right? All of the males. Yeah, basically the story. In fact, besides the usual lightings of candles and flower offerings, they placed upon the altar gifts worthy of a pagan goddess, such as milk, honey, and small flatbread with the drawing of an ear of wheat. But the legends and the popular naivety did not shock me until I assisted in the breakup of an engagement because of the statue. A young shepherd who was going to wed but lacked every sacrament came to me asking which steps he had to take to be able to unite with his promised one. Is that me? But as soon as he took first glimpse of the statue, he was overcome by such amorous devotion towards it that he stopped visiting his promised bride. The young man's folly brought to fiery fights with his promised one. At the end of mass, th those S's are just terrible for me. One day when he tried to forcefully take back his engagement gift, a bonnet embroidered in gold filigree, as is usually worn in these mountains, in order to give it to the statue. This disagreeable fight took place in the church a few steps removed from the altar of discord and it was my task to separate the two and try to consolidate them again nothing succeeded in softening the boy's heart he kept insisting that his promised one was not worthy of his heart which was now fully devoted to the saint of whom moreover he incorrectly named his passion for the statue grew to the point that he spent his days praying in front of her so much that i had to shoo him away and one night I was disturbed from my bed by a strange noise coming from the church. He was jerking it to the statue too. Well, I found him jerking the statue, embracing the statue as he wept. I remained hidden in the shadows to observe his movements, trying to find the right words to help him return to himself. However, I fell asleep, and when I awoke the next morning, he was no longer near the statue. Sometime afterwards, some woodcutters told me they had seen him walk away into the woods. As of today, it has been two weeks since anyone has heard from him, and with the cold of these past nights, no one believes he will be found alive if he has truly been hiding in the woods. It is therefore with my heart full of sorrow that I turn to your excellence for comfort. Um, Him going to the woods, does that mean that he did that after the fact? Is that what happened now? A letter written by the parish priest reports that some youngsters had fallen in love with the statue. Legend says that the sculptor died upon completing his work. What is the same statue on a statue? I, I kind of wish I pay attention to what I combine it with. It was the sculptor's tale, so I still have that at least. I guess that was the end of that one. Time for me to... I guess I can look around. Oh, so like, offer it to the bowl, but there's maple leaves on the stairs? There's maple leaves somewhere- oh, there they are. That I need it to grab. I'll take one. I guess I wouldn't have been able to grab it before and they must be connected to Anna in some way so um 
looking at the guide to the reason the Maple Leaves I picked up out front didn't count as an intuition is because I didn't examine them after I picked them up, which is kind of dumb. So uh, whatever this Maple Leaf chain goes, I cannot do it. So sucks to be me, right? This eyeball knows what's up. I don't know what I'm doing down here. There's a switch. That's really all I know. And some... Oh! More eyeballs. Oh. I am mannequin now. I have died. The room kind of looked a lot cooler with those mannequins, not gonna lie. Um... I probably should just go back to the guide. I don't know if there's anything else for me besides the switch. Sometimes I'm, like, pushed, and I feel like it's because the statue spawned. Oh, I know where that symbol is, at least. Uh, so I, uh, let me double check to see what the guide says about temple. Huh. Seems like there's some kind of quest chain that I didn't do. When we read the book, there was like the Sebo Maker's Way, but I can't pray at it. And it mentions because I'm not crazy like the Sebo. So I don't, I, I must have missed something at some point. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, apparently... Here we go with more convoluted stuff. Um, damn it. Hitting every wrong button. Pick up that Grollo. So, let me see if I can see exactly what the goal was here. There's no way I would have known that. So that hatch is supposed to be connected to the one that was in the living quarters that has the symbol from the lever. And I don't know if pulling the lever makes it so this can happen. I get the idea, and the guide mentions that if Moonlight is showing on this, we'll be able to buy, to uh, pick up the, what did it even say it was, Grotto? Goto? Grollo. I don't know what a Grollo is. It's this. Was it even filled with some coffee? Maybe with a chocolate cake baked in the... Wow. That's a casual conversation to have at this point in the game. So, I get the idea that the hatch is supposed to be open and you need to use the face of truth so that it makes moonlight show up to allow you to pick up the Grollo. But I don't know where that information comes from. Because I don't think I've seen that symbol anywhere besides in the spot. So who knows? I think I'm done with that. Oh, shit. Okay, so breaking... Okay, well, we're... We're done down here. I, I'll gladly say I'm just dumb with these puzzles. I do want to know the logical steps to get through them. Since obviously I'm not doing a good job at it, naturally. Um, we're going, they're just always in that corner, lady. So like, that was a moment where I'm like, trying to piece it together with that moonlight and the Grollo. But I don't know what exactly would get, fully get me there. I can't. God, these hands are so weird. I kind of see the path, but it's not clear enough to me. So, I don't know. Whatever. We'll just continue doing what we're doing right now.